Saturday, October the 13th. This is uh, the second season of the World Boxing Super Series Tournament on the uh, zone. And um, this fight I mean, card was over on Box Nation. This is also the second cruiserweight tournament for the World Boxing Super Series. The first one, Alexander Usyk won all of the belts. WBC, WBA, WBO, IBF, Ring Magazine. Um, now you have the second uh, tournament that we're going to talk about, but we're waiting for them to read the cards. Um, Tabidi should win, but remember this fight is taking place over in Russia, so there could be some controversy. The good thing is there can't be a draw because for the for the World Boxing Super Series tournament, um, they have a fourth overriding judge. And the fighter who won that particular round on at least a majority of the three official yeah. scorecards will advance. Well, I hope you understand that one. Because yeah, I just explained it simply. It is such a tight The highest three scorecards win of the four judges. So, so first they go by the three judges, but then if it's a draw, then they tally up all the cards and then go by the three highest. Could have saved, could have saved the record. Here's the bracket, by the way. May well have done. May well have done so. This is the uh, fight right here. We're just watching. The winner goes on to face the winner Still of uh, Junior Del Chico's Masters Masterna, uh, Mach, Machu's Masterna. Next week, that fight is. I'll be covering it. brains of the Floyd Mayweather organization is up there waiting, and it was looking across to us to see how we got it. And uh, there was a slight sigh of relief when I pointed vaguely towards his man's corner, but, you know, we, all, we, we get them wrong They're uh, tallying it up. I just stood behind you pointing the other way, John. Got to keep yeah. them They just showed the guessing. judges tallying up the scores. Um. And the longer it takes, the more the panic sets in for the fighters. Let's talk a little bit. Andrew Dabiti, he's one of those type of fighters where you're going to say, um, as he grows, if he grows, if he continues to grow, you know, you're going to say, damn, you know, if he only throws more punches, look at the judges. Scary shit right there. That's how you know. That shit's going to motherfucking go to the overriding judge. It was a nasty fight to score, but if you were to give it to somebody, depending on what you would look, it was a nasty, you know, I've seen some horrible, horror fight, horrible, horrible fights in, in, in my time. The main events, but the main event of, of this, by the way, is uh, Zelani uh, Tite versus uh, Mik Mikhail Alonian, Aloyan. Damn, they really tallying up those cards. You know, Tabidi's got to throw more punches. He's got to open up. The flashes are there. Like, you know, he can't, you know, like, like he is good. It's there. He's got to throw more punches. Additions go on. And is this going to go to the fourth card? I wonder. Wow, this is taking a long ass time. That could very well be the holdup, maybe. I mean, I will show you highlights, but there is no highlights. But let's go look at the 100. Well, you already know the uh, cruiser weight, uh, the 200 pound limit. You already know the champion is out Alexander Usi. You know, you had uh, Bernard Hopkins, the first ever undisputed champion in the four belt era, which we're in right now. You had uh, Bernard, um, Jermaine Taylor beat him. The next undisputed champion was uh, Terrence Crawford when he beat Julius Ndungu last year. And that, damn, what the fuck? Uh, yo, how long does it take these motherfuckers to count? And look, look, look at his team. Look, this is a uh, um, uh, Faithers team. He knows something. But you had um, Terrence Crawford uh, beat Julius Ndungu to get all the belts, and you had Usyk win the World Boxing Super Series. Still, the fighters wait. Still, no word has leaked out. But the fighters are being drawn together now. I'm still Take note for the indication that we're ready to go for the, the results. In the very close fight, Faithfer was deducted a point for continuous, like, like leaning in with the head, like going in on the inside. Tuka Koitsinen has walked into the ring. And now we can get the result. It's going to be tight, I think. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 hard forward rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are the score totals. 
Dion Duarte had it 116 to 111. Matteo Montella had it 115 to 112. Benoit Roussel had it 114 to 113. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And moving on to the World Boxing Super Series semifinals. Let's hear it for Andrew the Beast Tabidi. Disappointment for the Russian crowd. They don't like it very much. Celebrations for the Mayweather clan and for Andrew Tabiti. He wins by margins of five rounds, which is a wee bit wide. The right man won. Three rounds and a very much more realistic one round. Close thing, scrappy fight. And Barry Jones has made his way up in. I wonder why it took them so long to calculate that score, though. And yes, you know, I do agree with the uh, the last 114, 113. Well, I'm with the winner and the first semi finalist for the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Division, Andrew Tabiti. Congratulations, Andrew. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. How'd you feel tonight? Um, I felt good. Um, you know, I want to thank the World, World Boxing Super Series for having me over, man. I love Russia. I love coming out here fighting. It's, it, was a, it was a wonderful um, experience. I want to thank Mayweather Promotions. Um, you know, the guy was real awkward, you know, um, but he came and um, he, he came and brought the fight. Uh, he seen he seen I um, had good speed on him, and um, he wanted to make it awkward and dirty. So, you know, I pulled out the wins. I'm, I'm real grateful for it. You can see at the, st the start of the fight, it was a cagey first few rounds. No, neither one of you willing to engage. What do you feel the difference was with your game plan? Maybe you sort of finished the stronger at the end. Did you feel that? Um, yeah, that was my game plan. Is um, you know just relax the beginning of the, um, the fight, and then later on try to pick it up. Um, he started being a lot more awkward at the end of the fight, um, doing a lot more holding. So it was a little rough for me to really get off. And being away, boxing away from home, first time as a professional, and a long way from home as well in Russia. How was the adjustment for all that? The whole traveling, being away from home. Um, um, I felt real comfortable. I felt real great. Um, it's, it's a wonderful experience, and I'm just real fortunate to be here. And now you're in the semi-finals. Congratulations for that. But you look forward to next week. Obviously, the two guys who are fighting, you're going to have to face them in the semi-final. Dorticus or Mastanek. I want to ask you two questions. Who do you think will win, and who would you prefer to face? Um, I think Dortico will win, and um, you know, I think Dortico has a more credible name. So, you know, I would like to fight him. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank Congratulations in the semi final of the World Boxing Super Series, Andrew Tabiti. Andrew Tabiti, good winner, and admitting that that was a very tough and difficult. Yeah, so um, looking at this, this is who he's. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he called out the right person, you know, the, that, that people want to see. Um, so he's going to fight Unier Dorticos if Unier Dorticos beats uh, Montreux's Masterneck, which he's. Uh, heavily favored to do in the second round the fight will take place likely in january or no later than um february and then um over here on this side i would love to see um um mirrors breeders versus uh christoph glowowski now both of these guys obviously have to make it um through and they're fighting in chicago on the same card but in my opinion Here's a little bit of uh, highlights. Let me see if we can get over here. I mean, there's no highlights for the fight, truth be told. But in my opinion, you know, who you... It just was like that, that right there is what he got uh, deducted a point for. Like that pushing and leaning in with the head. He was doing it all fight. But, you know, what I would like to see is, see, Tabidi is going to really, really be tested with Dorticos. If he gets past you and your Dorticos, people are going to be like, oh, shit. But can he beat Amiris Breedis or Christoph Glowowski? So I think he can make it out of the, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not going to, let, let's see how Dorticos looks next week before we say he can make it out of that bracket. Anyway, I'm covering all the uh, World Boxing Super Series fights. This one right here is on the zone over in the U over in the states. In the UK, it's bouncing around. Last week it was on one their uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook page. This week it's on Box Nation. Next week it might be on ITV or whatever. We don't know. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy live. Um, please subscribe.